Hey everybody, this is Jeff Green with Icon Performance, Birmingham, Alabama. And I got a you know, comment on uh, one of my YouTube videos. And the comment was how uh, you couldn't believe that I was actually teaching a false grip on one of my bench press demonstrations. I uh, thought it was inherently dangerous and went on to uh, <laughs> describe me a couple other ways. Um, there's a misconception when it comes to grip, okay? Uh, I being a power lifter and a strongman competitor, grip is huge. Did a lot of study on grip training a lot of years, but for just general usage, there's really five kinds of grip that you can use um, for when you're grasping a bar. Um, the ones he was is, uh, referring to is called a false grip. And a false grip looks like this. What you do, put your hand here, and I want you to put your thumb on the same side as your, you know, here, or thumb on the here, whatever way it looks like. Same as your fingers, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is a grip commonly used by a lot of strong men, a lot of lifters, uh, experienced lifters. Um, is it inherently dangerous as you prescribe? Um, absolutely not. Um, there is accidents that could happen, but no more accidents could happen with any other grip. All depends on what you're using the grip for, okay? Um, would I ask a, a brand new person who has never gripped a bar in his entire life to use a false grip? Probably not. We use a true grip first. But the false grip in most power bench situations, uh, the false grip is actually more biomechanically advantageous. I'll show you why. Okay, with a false grip, all right, <clears throat> I get the bar literally right over the butt of my palm. Okay, bar through here, or bone on bone, cut through here. Okay, actually now I'm losing no energy uh, by having the bar back here. Okay, than I would over the my palm. Thus, you get the ball hard with, with your thumbs. <clears throat> and um, the other side, and your fingers, those side, holding that ball with the bar of your thumb, keeping your elbow underneath you. The beauty of this is I can actually dictate elbow path, okay, if I want in hugging my side or with the wall way out and kind of a bodybuilding type of, of, of a, uh, a, a form, technique, all right, that's easier to do with the false grip, okay. Now, with a true grip, what everybody knows really you're used to, thumb right from the bar in a regular pattern here, like you would grab, grip anything else, your suitcase, uh, um, whatever. Um, and that's a normal grip, but in a, in a pulling situation, it makes total sense, okay? You need all five fingers grabbed around, okay? Uh, just for the sheer fact you're trying to, obviously, you know, pull this way as possible, you need every, every tactile sense you got to pull with. Now, <clears throat> when uh, you're in a press situation, right, pressing now puts the bar at the back of my hand. You look here, you push, every single time with wrist breaks, and we're like this. You know, with a full grip, you're going to put it very, very far. Palm will put back, and the ball is set up back of your fingers in here, behind the form. Okay, now I'm losing energy, all right, because now the elbow it has to compensate back to here. A lot more shoulder torque than I need when using maximal weights. All right, now, another kind of grip is called linear grip, okay? A lot of bodybuilders use it too. Uh, the sheer fact that the elbow is out position is exactly where they want to go, even somewhat elbows out and a heightened, so much flex up here, you want to use a linear grip. Linear grip is thumbs on top grip, again, over the butt of the palm, okay, and around here, but I have a little more of my hand actually on the bar, but it actually dictates bar pass to where my elbows pretty much have to go out, and you got to press, whether it be a bench press, incline press, decompress, or an overhead press situation. You want to use that linear grip. I see a lot of guys use that and have good success with it. Real comfortable with this grip. No prejudice intended, but guys with smaller hands tend to do better with a linear grip. Bigger hands, I've got pretty big hands. So that actually is pretty uncomfortable for me. If you have really, really tight fingers, tight muscles in your, in your hand, that also might be uncomfortable as well. Now, the next one is called a hook grip. And this is a, definitely an Olympic-based movement. Olympic lifters use this in all their, their cleans and their snatches, and you grab the thumb, wrap your fingers over the thumb, okay? Something like that. And that's great for all the pulls. And of course, Olympic lifting is mostly a pull-based uh, strength sport. So <clears throat> that great outs for a quick release. Once you get to a certain height, I need to land here or land over the situation, all right? Then we're looking at the hook grip being a really good, strong grip. You gotta be used to it though. It's painful to get used to. You see all the guys who live with it, always have their tape over their thumbs. It will take the skin off your thumb. It's real painful to get used to, but once you're used to it, it's a very, very powerful grip. The last one being a reverse grip. Uh, Anthony Clark made this famous back in the 80s with his 800 pound bench presses. Um, I personally bench press like this from a bad shoulder injury I got when I was wrestling. So this is what's more comfortable for me when I do my competition bench. bench. Um, but again, the butt of my palm on the bar, okay? It goes between my thumb and forefinger, 
and lads cross here to where the, when the, the crease between these two muscles here, that's where the bar lays. Actually, a really comfortable grip for me once you're used to it. For bodybuilders and for those people looking to build more triceps, it's a phenomenal movement. In fact, um, I've gotten virtually pretty small arms for my size. Um, uh, all my weight is on my legs and my back. Okay? For me to build arms was tough, and a million press downs and close grip bench presses and dips really didn't do it. Reverse grip bench presses was the key for me. Why? Because that's just long arms, it's tough to keep my elbows in. So the reverse grip and a false grip works much better for somebody like me with long arms. Like, you know, I'm really built to pull, not push. All right? Guys who are built to push, obviously the shorter arm, longer torso guys. I'm a long limb, short torso guy, okay? Um, the reverse grip, the real comfortable, helps you keep your elbows in further because you internally rotate the shoulders so much better here and here when you press, all right? So those are the five kinds of grip you use. Um, a false grip, yeah, I've seen some dumps of, of head bench presses in the past, but those are guys who were using way too much weight, didn't practice enough with them, but, uh, not good spotters, um, a million different reasons. Uh, I've seen guys with brand new bench press shirts come down and the false grip wasn't enough stabilization for them to use you know, in the bench press shirt. And it came down a different groove, they lost the bar. Uh, I've seen a couple of accidents with it, of course. You know, um, guys bar, dump ball in their chest once in a while from not paying attention. Or guys who use wrist straps that are so freaking thick and tight, all right, it now takes your false grip here and now turns up. Okay, that's a lot of grip strength to hold on that bar, six, seven, eight hundred pound bench press nowadays, in that kind of position with no thumb. Right? The whole thing with false grip is that you have to keep the hand back, the ball of the thumb, the wrist strap, support the wrist through here with all that torque on the back of the hand. Right? And that, makes, that's, that makes it more, uh, more supportive and thus the use of the wrist, wrist straps. Um, but uh, uh, for a power base, okay, for when your max strength or max speed is your, bit, is your main goal, the false grip makes more sense. Um, it, 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 while they get used to it, and I probably wouldn't go max speed or max strength until you use that kind of grip. It's a very, very effective grip, very efficient grip. And again, somebody I would teach about, they say two, three months into it. All right, that fits all on that. My name is Jeff Green, Icon Performance in Birmingham, Alabama. The website is iconperformanceonline.com. Appreciate your time.